Greetings, greetings everyone. This is the Q's podcast. This is your host, Dusposetu Gamlambi Sukabu. Tuo shutiti buno singum domla bomo singum sutu mjobi. Tuo oche sutu. Back again with another video. Mzuguluana. Asa matlo chane om table pressure or jali. Matatal cool. Yeah. So. I'm going to speak about legend, an activist, political activist, James Sofasong Mpanza. It's a man who founded Orlando Pirates, founded the Sofasong Party, a man who's the father of Soweto, the man who founded Soweto. So we'll get into that later on on the video. So let's give a bit of background about where he comes from. James Sofason Kampanza comes from KwaZulu Natal, where he grew up along with, uh, with four other siblings. And sadly, the eldest sibling passed away before reaching manhood so so the way they lost their elder brother so so far so okay james went to school went to primary and also went to a teaching school where he got a teaching certificate after acquiring that certificate james went on to work now as a track and also he doubled up as also an interpreter worked as a track and an interpreter at the age of 18 so sadly he was falsely arrested James was falsely arrested for fraud so but he did appeal so when he appealed then he was he was actually sentenced for life in prison so he eventually now after the appeal he was reprieved so after being reprieved then he only served 13 years so for james going to prison was a blessing in disguise in a sense that it is him going to prison where he eventually became Christian. Him becoming a Christian, that's where he wrote ideas. That's where he started planning on how now he's going to help the people through their sufferings. How he's going to unite now people. Remember, black people were suffering at the time. It, it was a time of colonization. So, James had to fight for these people and he was deemed a controversial person, a rebellion person. He used to rebel a lot, even in prison. He used to fight with with the with the warders, the prison warders. So he was always moved from one prison to another, from one prison to another. Up until now, he became converted to Christianity in a prison, a box back. So, after coming out of prison, he then went to now Pretoria, where he was a teacher there in Pretoria. Went to Pretoria and teached. After teaching, then he went to. Orlando in Johannesburg so in Orlando that's when now he, st he started and formed now uh, Orlando Orlando Boys Club so Orlando, Bo Orlando Boys Club was which was formed in 1937 later changed now to Orlando Pirates FC which we all know which is 
a team that plays its football in the Pretoria Soccer League, which is owned by the Koza family, but Ivan Koza. So, Orlando Pirates is one of the biggest clubs in South Africa, also in Africa, in the Southern African region also, because of, remember, in 1995, they actually won the African, the CAF Champions League, which resulted in them getting a star on their badge. Remember, when you, when you win the CAF Champions League, your team gets to have a star on the badge. So they were the champions of Africa. Remember that great, great team, the great team of uh, Cheris Kosana, Mark Fish, you name all those soccer legends, all these greats. So yeah, without divi deviating much, yeah, he founded Orlando Pirates, which we all love today. Isgama Kepul, Isga Kepul, Mshabaka Maspala. Yeah, so he also, as controversial as he was, in 1958, he went to the city of Johannesburg. Then remember at the time, actually what happened is in 1910, uh, Union of South Africa was formed where black people were excluded the Afrikaner and the english they came together and formed the union of south africa which is south africa now so it has it had it had four dominions at the time it had the cape colony the natal the orange free state and the transvaal which which Practically was four provinces. The Afrikaners uh, governed the Transvaal and the Orange Free State, while the British uh, were in charge of the Natal and the Cape of Good Cope. So yeah. So it's like that. It was the situation back then. So as I've alluded earlier on the video that. James Sofason Kempanza was born on the 15th of May 1889 so he was born before this Union of South Africa so Orlando Pirate he formed it in 1937 which is one of the oldest clubs we have in the Premier Soccer League and team which won a double treble during the times of Bola Kilokwati, uh, Benny McCarthy, Happy Chele, you know, you name them. So after that, as much as he was controversial, he actually led a group of 8,000 people where they took the land, the land invasion. So after taking the land, a group of 8,000 people, then they settled there, they squatted there. So everyone was required to take a fee. Then, at the time, it was like an Orania of the time. James was so ahead of his time. Self-actualization, he believed in sexual self-actualization, where people should do things for themselves. So, we were keeping Mali, so that they could have their police force, they could have their health care because of remember and also to also buy the land. I want them to contribute in Mali who stay there. So it's a way to basically means southern or western townships. S O W E T O So way to that's what it stands for. Southern Western Township. So People from Orlando had to move now to this new place, which now James Sofasonke Mpanza was the was an was an un, unofficial mayor of the place and actually created a lot of things back in the time. Even his house, 
that's where meetings were being held. That's why the house is also now commemorated as James Sofason Gambanza House. It's actually in a heritage site where it is commemorated and they had their family courts. They had, even though they were never the best, they were not the best at the time, but they tried and it eventually led now to the one of the largest housing developments we have in here in South Africa. Remember, Soweto is the largest township in South Africa, which has which a lot of people stay there. It's if I'm not mistaken, it's about two point something million people who stay there. Different ethnic groups, different languages have been spoken there. You know, people will know so way to Bovilagasi Street, where in the same street you had uh, two Nobel Prize, Prize winning uh, people, Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. May their souls continue resting in peace, staying in the same street. So the famous Vilokasi Street, which is a tourist attraction, attraction which a lot of people abroad, they come to Soweto. A Soweto, which has Soweto Derby, where Orlando Pirates, which was formed by uh, James Sofason Gambanza and Kaiser Chiefs, <clears throat> they have a, a Derby, which is called the Soweto Derby. Also, Morocco Swallows, also from Soweto, is also deemed as a uh, the original Soweto Derby. So yeah, that is the importance of James Sofason Kempanza. He was given the nickname Sofason Kempanza because of he liked to say, he usually liked to say that we all gonna die. We all will, we all will die. So Sofason so let's stick together, even though Gunzima even though Gunzima and sadly eventually lost a child due to healthcare issues during the time. But I applaud James Sofason Kimpanza, who eventually died, passed away 1970 on the 23rd of September on the African New Year. Remember, on the 23rd of September is the African New Year. Nzalo Yolanga. So yeah, that is pretty much the history of James Sofason Kempanza, a man who was also buried in Soweto. And we must remember these people. We must know our history. We are of a people. Makas Gavi once said that a people who don't know their past or know their origin, they are like a tree without any roots peace may you feel, may you all watching this video find peace and joy if you've liked this video please like share comment and subscribe to the channel this is the q's podcast and i'm your host this positive we are of a people peace